Today on Trans Day of Visibility, we celebrate the trans individuals in our communities. And trans Day of Visibility. Trans Day of Visibility. Trans Day of Visibility. Say what? Uh, apparently, this Transgender Day of Visibility was a thing. And uh, it seemed like it started this past uh, Easter, if you will. Though, yeah, Easter lands on different days and all that. Now, the interesting thing is, of course, people will say that, well, this has been a thing for a little bit now. It didn't just start. However, all these public leaders seem to not start talking about it until this one popped up because it was more made more, especially in America, more officialized. Got the president co-signing it, Joe Biden. And yeah, so now everybody's talking about the transgender because I was looking it up myself. I'm like, OK, has this person ever this person that's like, oh, yeah, for 50, this has been a thing for 15 years. Now look it up. They have never recognized that. Not once. So it's like, huh, y'all, st- y'all didn't start recognizing that. Publicly until so that straw man's out the way, but y'all just start recognizing it until this Easter. You picked a bad day to do it. So if it, even if it is the thirty first, every single year you pick the wrong year to do it because thirty first happened to also land on Easter. And so you had gaming companies like um, <sighs> Bioware. And I looked, and we can look together. Today is Transgender Day of Visibility, hashtag. Trans people have always been a part of our world. That's a gaslight. Uh, We're proud to support them both within our games and in real life. Chicks with dicks? There are no chicks with dicks. And I looked to see if they, look, get it. You are not, as a company, required to recognize every single holiday. Not saying that. You're not required. You're not to require you're not required to recognize any holiday. But I just out of curiosity checked, and they didn't say anything about Easter. So on the 31st, they have one tweet, Bioware that is. And it's talking about transgender day of visibility. Now they knew off rip. That this is going to be a ratio like no other, which is why they closed down the comments immediately. They don't do that with every post. <laughs> now, Bioware is, uh, they've maybe produced some games that you may be in the past fond of. Um, I don't know if they have done anything as of late um, that I would say, I mean, did, did they have any role in the recent? What's the name of that damn game? Um, Baldur's Gate. I, I I don't know if they had anything to do with that one. The the most recent one, that one game of the year. But they've um. So all right, chat just confirmed they had nothing to do with that. Okay. Um. So what have, in the hell have they been doing as of lately? Either way, I know EA has has them, and they don't really not anything that re, that I can think of recently that I played because I I wasn't into Baldur's Gate anyway, uh, the most recent one. But Mass Effect, maybe I don't know. But I'm just relaying the news that BioWare has gone out of their way to vi- to visualize, I guess, <laughs> trans people because apparently they have they need to be recognized to be seen because it's not like we get reminded everywhere we look, especially online during the course of any sort of commentary or conversation. Um by any means, right? They are not visible at all, and we have to recognize them. And need, they need to go out of their way uh, to, to to recognize them. Uh, shout out Bioware, I guess. <laughs> Trans Day of Visibility. It's such a random ass thing to do, but it brings me to this point really quick, and I'm going to end on this note, just in case you're curious. If you are a member of the LGBTQ plus 2IA community. That means you're gay. More power to you. But I just want to be clear. You have a lot of fucking days. 
and months throughout the week. Not saying you're the only demographic. But as it stands right now, some of these, if not most of these days, you've never heard of. But they got a lot of days that are like, in a lot of cases, federally recognized. Uh, government recognizes them. Obviously, you got the entire Pride Month. Uh, you got a History Month as well. You got all sorts of Transgender Day of Remembrance. You got a, you got, you close it in on having like half of the damn year belonging to you in some capacity. So uh, I guess congratulations, if nothing else. Thanks for watching. Right now, the Ripperverse is in the middle of our latest campaign, Yaira Number no. 1, which was written by the Saskas. Head over to Ripperverse.com, pre-order and check out our first live-action trailer and the latest Ripperverse Studios production. Y'all be easy.